powerful God calls himself the word he doesn't call himself prayer he doesn't call himself fasting he calls himself the word welcome to dynamics of music channel so today i'm going to be doing a thoughtful revision on the podcast by apostle joshua so imagine waking up every day with a power to shape your reality through your words many believers don't realize that their daily confession are either building their future or tearing it down apostle teaches that what she's speaking to your life carries immense power your words align heavens and earth this september make it your mission to fill the atmosphere with positive confession rooted in scripture speak life sources protection and abundance over yourself daily if your words have the power to frame your word what are you building with them will you continue speaking carelessly or will you intentionally command your day with the force of positive confession make sure you watch this video and make sure you share thank you so much psychologists agree even with religion on this that your life will revolve around and towards your most dominant thoughts am i right on that this is true this is this has been intellectually established and confirmed that what becomes your dominant thoughts your the possibilities in your life will be an eventual reflection of the content in your mind that is true many of us occupy ourselves with all kinds of negative information anti nice information and then you find out that your life begins to revolve and it moves around a trajectory that you do not want. You have a responsibility to buy the truth. Listen to teachings. Listen to scripture. Today's world provides us on advantage as far as the scripture is concerned. All you need to go is to go online and you will find bibles audio bibles and all kinds of death in fact you even have the words of jesus that has been singled out that you listen again and again and again and again and again because faith bible faith comes by hearing and the hearing that produces understanding there are two kinds of hearing the first produces awareness the second produces understanding so you study the scripture you hear the scripture are you ready for the third dimension you speak the scripture this is powerful the bible says let the redeemed of the lord help me say so not wish so not just think so let the redeemed of the lord say so let the healed of the lord say so let the blessed of the lord say so let the victorious of the lord say so let the triumphant in destiny say so say so that I am the head and not the tail. Say so that the favor of God is around me as a shield. Say so that a thousand shall fall by my side and ten thousand by my right side, but none shall harm me. With my eyes will I see and behold the reward of the wicked. Say so that my life is Beulah and Hephzibah. Say so that the favor of God is upon my life. Say so that I rise and shine for my light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Say so that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid of? The Lord is the strength of my life. Say Say so that they may come against me one way and scatter in seven ways so that I shall be exalted above the nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon me and overtake me say so that in the name of Jesus I am like a, a, a tree that brings his fruit in season whose leaf does not wither and everything I do prospers say so I'm speaking about myself I don't know about you but that in the name of Jesus Christ no weapon fashioned against me will prosper and that every tongue that rises up against me will fall in judgment say so I am the head and not the tail above and not beneath say so let the redeemed of the Lord please listen to me do not trivialize the power of speaking the word do not trivialize the power of speaking the word. The word is so powerful, God calls himself the word. He doesn't call himself prayer. He doesn't call himself fasting. He calls himself the word. Hallelujah. Right from my lowly estate, I began to speak the word of God. That the gates of the nations are open for me. And there is no limitation whatsoever. In the name of Jesus Christ he says let the redeemed of the Lord say so 
where the word of a king is did your bible not say there is power is it true according to revelations 5 and 10 that we have been made unto our god kings and priests and that we reign on earth how do you reign kings reign by their word it says declare ye that thou mightest be justified see the character of the spirit of depression is to bring you to a state of silence. Do you know that when a man is depressed, Satan is after your words because if he can manipulate you to get to a point of silence, then he can destroy your life. I refuse to be silent. I refuse to be silent. My Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Someone in one minute, hold hands with someone by your left and begin to make any decree of scripture you can remember. In the name of Jesus, I am blessed in the city, blessed in the country. Put this to work there, people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the hand of the Lord is upon my life. I am a well-watered garden. When men say there is a casting down, I decree and declare that there is a lifting up. I go from strength to strength. I go from grace to grace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I go from strength to strength. Someone pray. I go from grace to grace. The favor of the Lord is upon me. I arise and I shine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Exalted in every nation. Finding favor in every nation. Blessed. Highly favored. Go ahead and declare. Go ahead and declare. You're not wasting your time. Give your destiny the gift of a few minutes of prophetic speaking. I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. Someone prophesy. Don't be silent. I prophesy as I was commanded. Speak to those bills. Speak to that health situation. In the name of Jesus, you are out of my life and out of my destiny. Casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ, bringing to captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. The gates of America open for you, open for your children. Someone declare in the name of Jesus, favor in the city, favor in the country, by the power of the Holy Spirit, favor in Texas, by the power of the Holy Spirit. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now listen to me. When you learn to study the word, when you learn to hear the word, when you learn to speak the word, that is a miracle on its way to manifest. That is a sign and a wonder on its way to manifest. The ministry of the Holy Spirit guiding you, helping you in addition to the ministry of the word, diligent study, listening to the word, programming your destiny by the word, and now making faith-filled declarations. Can I give you two more? Please be seated. Someone's life is changing already. My assignment is to make you angry at your current level. In the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God. Number three, the ministry of prayer. This is how we evolve into signs and wonders. The ministry of prayer. Hallelujah. There's no time. I have to walk with the time allotted, but according to scripture, please look up. Prayer has four major assignments in the life of the believer. Please write this and never forget it for as long as you live. Prayer has four assignments. First and foremost, do you believe in prayer? So that I know that I'm talking to a people who are believers in the ministry of prayer. Let me give you three scriptures that help to settle your passion for prayer. Number one is found in Luke chapter 18 and verse 1. The Bible says he spake this parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Second scripture, 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 17. The Bible says pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing, meaning be consistent in your prayer life. James chapter 5 and verse 13. 
the bible says is any man afflicted he said let him pray is any man afflicted let him pray when you read from verse 16 down to 18 the bible says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous availed much the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous availed much are we together Jesus was speaking and he said, He that told you have not asked for anything. He says, Ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be complete. In Mark chapter 11, when you read from verse 24, Jesus was teaching on faith and then he introduces the ministry of prayer. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, not if ye pray, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it. Hallelujah. Prayer is very powerful. It's one of the foundational principles for the manifestation of victory and glory in the life of the believer. But for the sake of our discussion this morning, let me give you four assignments of prayer in the life of the believer. Number one, the first and most superior assignment of prayer in order of priority is for your growth and transformation. Write that down, please. Most believers do not know that other dimensions of prayer are lesser dimensions relative to this. The primary assignment of prayer is as an agency for your growth and for your transformation. We find that in Luke chapter 9. Please give us verse 29. Jesus is in Gethsemane and he's praying. The Bible says, and as he prayed, or the Mount of Transfiguration, as he prayed, not before he prayed, not while he was wishing to pray. As he prayed, two things happened. Number one, the fashion of his countenance was altered. Number two, his raiment became white and glistering. Say transformation. Prayer can change you from a weak you to a strong you. Prayer can change you from a timid you to a powerful you. Prayer can change you from a flesh-driven you to a spiritual you. Prayer, if done properly, is powerful. The first assignment of prayer is as an instrument of growth and transformation. Jesus teaching the church in Corinth on prayer has this to say. He says in 1 Corinthians, when you read from 14 and verse 2, then 4, he says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue, edifieth himself, edifieth himself. Jude 1 and then verse 20, he says, But ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying praying building up yourselves praying an attack on your prayer life is a real attack so the first assignment of prayer very quickly is for your growth and your transformation can i give you the second very quickly the second assignment of prayer is for making requests and O obtaining requests and making petitions write that down obtaining requests and making petitions the biblical platform to call for the assistance of heaven at any given point is to engage through prayer making requests and obtaining petitions the bible says in mark 11 and verse 24 we read that it says whatsoever things ye desire when you desire, do not wish. When you desire, do not hope in vain. The Bible says, pray, pray, pray. Jesus was teaching us in what we call the Lord's Prayer, Matthew chapter 6. It says, pray after this manner, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Are we together? Then it says, give us this day. How do you ask for your daily bread? In prayer, not by wishing. Give us this day give us this day our daily bread what is your daily bread that which is required for your sufficiency give us this day our daily bread that's the second assignment of prayer to obtain requests and to make petitions number three the third assignment of prayer is for creation and spiritual legislation this is the prophetic dimension of prayer for creation you create your realities you create your destiny are we together and you legislate as a king and as a believer that you are for creation and spiritual legislation the bible says where the word of a king is there is power 
where the word of a king is there is power where the word of a king is there is power very very important where the word of a king is there is power declare ye that thou mightest be justified you can create possibilities like we did earlier on in the place of prayer in the name of Jesus Christ doors are opening for me I decree and declare the Bible says even God who quickened the dead and called the things that be not as though they were is that in your Bible so you can use prayer as a platform to call things program realities in your life for instance you can tell yourself every day of this year favor follows me you are scheduling a season hallelujah and then number four the fourth assignment of prayer as revealed from scripture is for warfare and intercession warfare and intercession warfare and intercession warfare and intercession Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 30 Ezekiel 22 and verse 30 please give it to us if Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 30 the Bible says and I sought for a man who would stand in the hedge do we have that Ezekiel 22 22 2 2 and then 3 0 Ezekiel 22 and verse 30 I sought for a man who would stand in the hedge that I should not destroy it and I found none prayer is a platform for intercession are we together now that you can be here right now and you can be interceding for your son somewhere and by the power of prayer even intercessory prayer the spirit of god can go and fish that son from wherever he is and cause him to encounter jesus and to return home like a prodigal. hallelujah and then warfare listen the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that our world is surrounded by all kinds of evil and wicked forces scripture is very clear as to the fact that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in heavenly places the bible says the whole world lies in wickedness he said i desire to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us you can pray every kind of negative climate out of your life. You can engage in the place of warfare, establishing the victory that has been wrought in Christ, making it manifest here and now. Here and now. Here and now. You must learn to pray. Listen to me. Satan is not going to fold his arms and allow the gate of your destiny to be open. No, not without warfare. Warfare is establishing the victory that is in christ experientially warding of all the spiritual limitations that stand to impede your destiny i made up my mind that in my lifetime no devil no demon will stand away to my manifesting the glory of god for as long as i have the power to pray i will pray failure out of my life i will pray weakness out of my life woe betides the spirit that is sent to block my way because by the power of prayer you can tell every mountain be lifted hallelujah you can take the time to intercede you can take the time to engage in warfare believe us i bring you a word if you will be powerful even in america you must submit yourself to the ministry of prayer occasional prayer does not produce a powerful believer your prayer must be systemic and it must be consistent in acts chapter 3 peter and john we're going to the temple to pray the Bible says at the hour of prayer say after me the hour of prayer you must create through discipline and responsibility your version of the hour of prayer do not allow your job to be an excuse for prayerlessness I said it yesterday that prayerlessness is pride prayerlessness is proof that you do not need the assistance of the government of heaven and the Bible says by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail say I will pray prophesy to yourself say I will pray say it again I will pray say I will pray in the name of Jesus Christ so obtain grace to pray fathers in America pray mothers in America pray young people in America pray students pray businessmen pray don't just leave it for men of God prayer is for all men prayer is for all men wake up in the morning and begin to pray this is the day the Lord has made I rejoice and I'm glad in the office pray while you're working pray 
the first response to anything that is antichrist in your life and anti-prophecy is to pray even if you do not know what to do you were laid off or fired before you start ranting and complaining pray in the place of prayer direction will come the bible says and as they prayed and fasted the holy ghost said to them separate me paul and barnabas direction comes in the place of prayer lord should i remain in this city or relocate to another side of america don't assume there is a way that seemeth right unto a man let your decisions pass through that immigration system of prayer so that only that which is consistent with the will of god is allowed to find expression pray before you send your children to school pray before you decide the college to study pray before you decide where to stay don't assume the flesh can deceive pray for someone god may tell him go right but for you god will say stay in egypt and sow in egypt and the bible says and isaac sowed in that land businessmen pray don't just say this is making money no pray because as you will be learning in my later session it is what is upon your head that governs what is in your cup thou anointest my head with oil he does not anoint your cup your cup is a report card it tells us what is on your head when your cup is empty don't blame the job when your cup is empty don't blame texas they are reflections of the bankruptcy of empowerment that is why I know that tonight, in the name of Jesus, as that grace comes on someone, your cup will begin to run over, run over, run over, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me give you the last and then we'll pray. So I've spoken about the ministry of the Holy Spirit, guiding, leading, empowering you, the ministry of the word, helping you to comprehend the ways of God, and that in engaging the word, we study, we listen, we speak now prayer sponsoring your transformation as you engage it especially praying in the spirit helping you to obtain requests and to make petitions an instrument of creation engaging the prophetic dimension of prayer and then finally as an instrument for warfare and intercession warding of all the demonic arsenals that are sent to stand the way of your destiny the last key that i will give you is the corporate fellowship of the brethren all of this that i mentioned you will find it in acts chapter 2 and verse 42 when you read down to 47 this was the culture of the early church the bible says they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and in breaking of bread like we experienced yesterday and in fellowship and in prayer and in prayer this was the protocol the pathway that the early church followed to be mighty men and women hallelujah listen to me the corporate gathering of believers is very important for your holistic spiritual growth there are dimensions of god you will never experience in isolation you would have to be part of a larger community of believers please listen to me listen to me the bible says in psalm 133 it says how good and how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity it says it is like the oil that comes from the head of aaron watch this i will always give this example so you are in the bathroom about to shower watch this did you know that your legs do not have to go above your head to experience that process of the shower it just needs to be connected to the body am i right on that the part that faces the shower is your head yet every part of your body including your feet benefits because of its connection if your legs are away from your body that part of your body will not experience that shower so you do not need to keep turning around or lifting your legs no 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 all you need to do is to make sure every part of your body stands as one and that shower gets to every part of your body believers when when you watch someone about to cook i know a lot of you do barbecues outside and then you use charcoal and all of that now watch this how many of you know that if you pick one red hot coal and you bring it out and drop it it begins to grow cold am i right on that it is in the togetherness 
that that strength and fire remains so when the devil wants to destroy a believer he uses offense he uses all kinds of things to isolate you away from the larger body of believers now let me tell you this when satan wants to destroy you he will make sure that everyone who can help you spiritually and otherwise he will create a reason to be offended in them when you are now alone then he strikes you because war be betides that man who is alone he says two are better than one if one falls there will be another to lift him up there are believers who do not care about church there are believers who do not care about the things of god thank god for the internet but can i tell you the larger body of believers you must practice habitually the convergence of believers everywhere your parish is represented you owe it as a duty for your own spiritual growth to make sure you are connected practically to a body of believers they return to their company the bible will say community living community keep living is the key to sustaining kingdom values in isolation you may not have the courage to do some things to say no to evil but as a team you can say no together are we together It is His will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. I pray for you. You pray for me. I love you. I need you to survive. Listen, there are times you come to church discouraged and from the first song of worship, while everybody is smiling and still greeting you are crying because that's the answer to your prayer that only happens in church the church of the lord jesus christ is not a cinema hall the church of the lord jesus christ is not a museum to come and spectate it is a place where god has chosen to make us his habitation can i tell you the church every church may have issues here and there but you must look past every limitation and see jesus when you look for jesus you will always find him in every true church finding perfection as a requirement to be a faithful member of any congregation will only leave you deceived and eventually in pain look beyond the limitations and you will see jesus jesus you be lifted higher higher be lifted higher jesus you be lifted higher higher be lifted higher let our king be lifted up oh, oh i'm about to round up i want you to listen very carefully do you know when you come to god please listen carefully when you begin your walk with god purpose and your assignment is not your priority at that point God does not call men and say come and go and be this no when God calls you he calls you to himself he does not call you to an agenda follow me not follow it when I make you I can send you there are many people who are following it that's why they do not find Jesus follow me as you follow me you will begin to find your place in me Colossians chapter 4 and verse 17 it says say unto Archippus take heed to the ministry that thou has received in the Lord not from the Lord to receive in the Lord means you have to be in relationship with the Lord you can receive from me without contact with me but you cannot receive in me carry your food in the kitchen that means you have to enter the kitchen to pick it but carry your food from the kitchen someone can help you God is not just looking for accomplishments he's looking for relationships follow me I know eventually you will be a prophet but start by following me I know eventually you'll be an entrepreneur but start by following me you do not follow it you follow me as you follow him looking unto Jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith you begin to evolve and as you follow him he will now divert you to the geography of your witness it is in following him that you begin to know in him that you were meant to be a prophet
now look up every name you see in the bible is not just the name of a believer every name you see in the bible is also a spiritual pathway that when you follow you will become a certain kind of believer so when you see abraham abraham is not just the name of a man abraham is a capture of a journey that you can follow god in a certain way and become the father of nations elijah is not just a prophet elijah represents a spiritual pathway that when you follow you can become a mighty prophet over nations esther is not just the name of a woman esther is a definition of a kind of call and assignment that requires you interacting with royalty to preserve the purposes of god that means as you begin to walk with god eventually there is a name in the bible that starts reflecting to your life and destiny that is the pathway a mark for you to follow listen carefully there are many of you as you begin to walk with god you see your life looking like esther and you know that that is the formation of your destiny you discover your destiny as you follow him you don't just invent and say i can talk well i think i'm a preacher no is someone learning so as you walk with god you will find out that your life is looking like joseph apostle i love the lord with all my heart but even those who are close to me are betraying me and i keep moving from city to city does that look like the young boy who had a dream seeing the sun the moon and 11 stars bowing you can find the parallel of your destiny in scripture hidden in the names of men that you call peter that you call andrew i used to hate church i used to hate the things of god you may say i used to hate anything spiritual does that sound to me like paul who later became the great apostle now that you are saved no wonder your passion seems to be greater than everyone at the end of your life your name should not just be a description of you your name should have been a pathway that you live for generations that when they want to learn god in a certain way when they say joshua selman you see so you can say the god of abraham the god of isaac the god of jacob these are spiritual pathways to learning god what pathways your name creating for the death the generations to come there are names you do not want to be associated with for instance jezebel because jezebel is also a pathway for instance delilah why they represent pathways of seduction destruction sin and hell and death 